So it is all done with, Anime Airtime is done for 2017. We're at the end of day three, and Christina and I want to show off all the stuff we got along the way, including some awards for our costumes. We finally won something together, it's great. Excellent stuff. We got, you want to show off the ribbons together? We got some nice blue ribbons. And to go with those, certificates. certificates of achievement, and what do they say? I didn't even read them yet. For the achievement of second in group, Worksmanship Masquerade. Yay. And that was, of course, for the costumes you saw of Rakan and Zaya from League of Legends. And to show off some more, we got some artworks commissioned. Yeah, we got Zaya and Rakan basically fighting over chocolate. You'll notice one of them is winning. Zaya's winning. <laughs> And anyway, we got some other artworks here. Okay. Now, we didn't, unfortunately, get a business card for this artist here, but you said what their name is? Her name is Daro, D-A-R-O. And I will find a link for that, maybe? Do our best that we can. We got another one commissioned here as well. This one's cute. It's not, not a fighting, we're more of teammates in that one, right? Yeah, almost like the login screen. And it's by War... Wadaro? Wadaro. And we'll have uh, links to stuff. We'll have links and stuff to the websites and whatever we can find in the description. We'll probably try to put some links on screen as well if I can get my annotations to look pretty cool. And this one's the best and the most expensive one. Chibi version of us fighting over chocolate. Now that one is more of a fair battle, I'd say. Yeah. And this was by one of probably the best people artists I've seen. It's Little or I U Y U. Is it Little Ryu maybe? I don't know. It sounds Japanese. Anyway, she has a Debian Arts, and it looks like she actually has a website. Yeah, and an email on there too, so we'll have as many links as possible there for you guys to check out. So that was what we got for our costumes. You picked up some more stuff there too, I, I think? got from her some acrylic charms, which is one of the big things this year. Uh, one of Fire Kindred from League of Legends, and it comes with the front and back of her and her wolf. And I got a Yang. Yang for Ruby. Well, cool her. stuff. Now you're noticing probably there's a number of Pokemon items on the table here. We're going to do some pack openings, but not just yet. We want to show off everything else first. We'll save the pack openings towards the end of the video. Yeah. So what else should we take a look at? Well, I can grab some of the things that you brought for me, actually. So do you want to explain what this adorable thing is? It's Gyarados Pikachu. Official Gyarados Pikachu from Hiroshima Pokemon Center. From the Pokemon Center all the way in Hiroshima, Japan. It's adorable. It's so fluffy. It's soft. It's so cute. And his ears are actually holding up the Gyarados fins there too, which is pretty cool. So there's that. And you also got me something from, I believe you said, Florida. Yeah. In honor of a couple of our costumes. spider Gwen gets married. Yeah. Yay. Although it's not the Spider-Man that I cosplayed, but, no, but it's still... It's still a form because they're all from different dimensions. Right? Exactly. So, in spirit, it is the Spider-Man. Now, should I show off more of what I got? Or do you want to show off some of the stuff you got there first? You do yours first. I, got, I bought the most. Okay. So, at this... No, I almost dropped something. In fact, since this thing is going to roll around a lot, I'll open this first. This is from my friend Caitlin. She had a table, and I wasn't sure what the company name or business name was. I didn't get a card, unfortunately. But if I can find a website, of course, I'll link to it. This is a dive ball. Now, the reason I got this, dive ball is one of my favorite cards in Pokemon TCG when you're running a water deck, of course. But what's cool with this, it's sort of like a blind opening. There's a Pokemon inside. And I was going to open it immediately, but I thought, I want to wait and show it on camera. Is it Greninja? Is it Greninja? Let's find out. I got little Tepig. That's not a water type. Why would you catch a Tepig in a dive ball? Although, that being said, I do have a Talon Flame in a dive ball because I accidentally resorted the items in my bag, and dive ball was at the top when I caught a Fletchling. Huh. So, anyways, Tepig in the dive ball. We'll keep that there so it doesn't roll around too much. Now, I will show off something I got from Yar Hook, handmade by S. Furin. And we've got a website and email on there as well. We'll put the website on the screen for you. I got a couple of things. One was a, it'll be, I guess, crocheted or stitched? I don't know. Crocheted. Crocheted puppet 
from Five Nights at Freddy's 2, or at least originating from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. It's in the whole Five Nights at Freddy's series at this point. But I figured this could be a nice little uh, help you get to sleep sort of a doll at night kind of thing. Of course, my nephew is probably old enough that this won't scare him anyway, but... I'm going to have nightmares forever after seeing that. It's the puppet, everybody. But I also picked up... Another little thing just for myself to add a little more to the order. A little Babam crocheted keychain. It's cute. Which is very cute, very cool. Hopefully it doesn't blow up in my face. And let's show off the pins. Oh no, here he goes again. Now I forget where I got these from. Uh, it was one of the Rio Rico. Rico, I think is her name. She does the Lolita and pins. Okay, so again, if we can find links. We'll be sure to provide them for you, but we'll start off with, uh, I got a Team Valor pin. Nice and gold and shiny. No, 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 no. Careful. Anyway, I got the nice golden Team Instinct pin. You can show yours off next. Mystic. Mystic rocks. It's the best team ever. We own PEI. And just to complete the set, I decided I can get something from my cousin. Cousin Mike, I've mentioned in a few Pokemon Go videos. It is Team Valor. Now, you gave a thumbs down, I'll give a thumbs down too, but I might as well get the whole set, you know, so I got all three of those. I chose the nice golden image for our good old Team Instinct. Yeah, mine has more shine to it. Anyway, let's move on to... Hey, I'm wearing the hat now. Yeah, that's true. I don't... This is why I got this. I'm always walking around, not representing my team. I can now slap it right on myself. I've got Team Val Valor. No, Valor, no. you're corrupting me. Instinct. Team Instinct. Everywhere I go. Now, I didn't get a card from these folks, but they are some friends of mine. They are nerdities, nerdy oddities, and they do some uh, perler bead, pixel art, 8-bit stuff. I got myself a cool-looking Metroid. I like this. Metroid is very cool. They have some sort of translucent parts for the uh, see-through parts of the Metroid as well. And I picked something up for you because you're interested in this particular Pokemon. Okay. Alolan Vulpix, the ice type. I couldn't find the plushie though. Everyone that was in lineup for the vendor and artist alley basically swarmed and got every single plushie. Uh, and I saved so much money to get one, but they all sold I it. got this, so I'm happy. And I'm hoping in these boxes there is one in there. So. Very possible. There's a lot of Guardians Rising packs we'll be opening in a little bit. Never opened them before. And what else did I get? You got some awesome artwork. We got, they were all from the same person, weren't they? Yes. So the next art you see is going to be from Candy Crystals, Morgan Dugdale artist. We have the links on there. We'll show you those. He's a really good artist. And we'll show my, I'll show the Squirtle first. You can't really see it on camera. I'll see if I can get a zoom up for you there. But tiny little Squirtle sticker they threw in because I bought a few things. They said, I can have a sticker for free. I saw this first and decided I want... I'm gonna hold it for you. Sure, you wanna hold that up? I want this Game Boy Color Gen 1 Pokemon art showing a lot of the Pokemon. Well, I shouldn't say a lot, but a selection of the Pokemon from Generation 1. It's got Squirtle, it's got Ivysaur, Charizard, Pikachu, it's got the Smash Brother Pokemon, and it's also got a random Bell Sprout. Plus some other Pokemon. So they said Gengar is on there as well. I noticed they didn't get Alakazam in there because it was so overpowered they knew people would hate it. Well, and there's not enough room. That too is true. And like if it was bigger, sure. But you want to be able to see all the, the Game Boy. Yeah, because they said they said you can choose whatever color Game Boy you want. And I said, do you have a purple one? They had one left, and I got that one left. Now I also decided to add another thing into this purchase. I got a Bowser and Baby Bowser relaxing with their peaches there. It looks like because they do like Princess Peach. So I guess that's the closest they can get because of that accursed Mario. Mm, but, I still think Peach is his mother. But even she doesn't know if she is or not. So that's what's strange about the world of Mario. I know. So I got that. And Read all the fan fictions, people. Read and all the fan fictions. So these are all the arts you got from that same artist, correct? Yes. I got um, Kindred and Wolf um, from League of Legends. And it's a really nice poster. I'd never seen this one before. And it's very... Nice and dark and powerful. So I got that for my wall of kindred and wolf. I also got a Star Guardian Lux because Lux is awesome and she is signing up. And finally, Ari, my beautiful Ari. She was my cosplay for December and I really enjoyed to do Ari and she is very deceiving. 
And that is all from my side of the table. Yeah. Let's see what you have over on your side. These are your purchases. Oh, don't forget this. Oh, wait. We did pick this up from EB Games here in town. It's a Pokeball lunch box. I can hold all of my lunch in there. I can hold my cards in there, too. Yes, you could, yeah. But it's a nice little storage case. So, thank you very much. And that was at the mall. Yeah. And, and I got this at the mall, too. Because I really didn't have a wallet. It's Team Rocket's wallet. Cool stuff. I'll make some space here. I'll start moving things around. Sure. I got a Pokemon Center Pikachu birthday notebook. And I'm going to use that for journaling. So that comes from in Japan, isn't it? Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, I guess it does. It's the 10th anniversary version. And I got a towel. I have all my towels for some reason already thrown out. I got this cute little easy towel, full size towel, and there's one where he, she's just smiling, or he or she, and one she's sleeping with a bunch of Pokeballs all over her, and it's, it's so cute. Very, very cute. <laughs> and I got one thing that one of my panels was from today, a Pretty Cure doll. I do not know this Pretty Cure, but I knew it was Pretty Cure, so I bought it on Impulse. <laughs> But it was very, very expensive, but it's legit. So I bought that for my collection. And then I got lots of posters. Some more artwork coming up here. Well, technically not, but printed work. Oh, yes. Got a Sailor Moon makeup bag. And you want to help me roll these out? Woo! Upside down. Got some Sailor Moon. Stuff. No! Did one fall? I can't see. And one. And that one. And that one. And that was from GameStop. There we go. And then, these are, this is mine. It's Pokemon related. This is this adorable. Is cool, yeah. This one's cute. Like I said, Oshawa's spitting all over them all. It's so sweet. It's summertime. He's making a sprinkler. Yeah. And he's really, really cute. And then I got you some posters. You did, yes. For your backdrop. Well, I was sitting off charging my phone because <laughs> it kept dying. These were hidden, and I searched and I found some. Awesome. They Those of you that don't know, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z fan here. Also, I like watching some Dragon Ball Super, though I can't. I gotta read the subtitles so I can understand Japanese. This one's my favorite. This one's cool. Is that basically all the Super Saiyan yeah. forms of them? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I was dressed as Super Saiyan Goku for the last day, too. And people wanted my photo. Ooh. Yeah. This is your stuff. I didn't get all my stuff done yet? No. Oh, wait a minute. That's your cool stuff, too. Everything's my cool stuff. Come on, I, didn't, I forgot something. Oh. It's like Christmas! There's so many presents, you don't even know where to start. <laughs> So I'll show this off quickly. Since I lost the clip-on microphone, I have to use a stick one now. I was thinking if I can find something to pin it to like my jacket or my shirt, this would be very useful. I picked up a bullet bill, little clip thingy here, so I can just clip it on and hold the microphone up. I'll have my hands free and all that good stuff. I also, do you want to hold the microphone for one second there? So I can show them. I finally it's decided cool. it's time to upgrade my t-shirt collection. You guys have seen the Charmander, Charmander, and Charizard shirt, It's getting right? old, it's fading. We're now into the Mega Evolutions here. We got Mega Charizard X, Mega Charizard Y, and the family down below. And it's pretty good material, too. It's spandexy. It's very stretchy, and I like this one. Yeah. So we'll put that off Black to the side. And these are very long. Um, they do seem to be. <laughs> yeah. They're long. I got a Vulcaloid, or Vulcaloid, or whatever you guys call it. And a Sideways Sailor Moon. Sideways Sailor Moon. And what else for the loot? I think that's it for loot. And then it comes to what I spent the most money on, which is garage sale stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you want to explain what the garage sale is? Yeah, so the garage sale, I did get some footage of that earlier in the video. People can come in and, well, if they sign up beforehand and bring in some of their, you know, no longer wanted, gently used items, set them up in one of the uh, exhibition rooms, and contest or contestants, attendees can come in and sell off their items to people that want them, such as the grumpiest cat of all. 
Crumpy Cat. Brand new. Still have the tag on it. Oh, really? I got it. And they wanted $20, but they gave her to me for $3. So Not a bad deal. Very good deal for Grumpy. Um, I also got some socks. Some awesome socks. Pikachu socks. I guess McDonald's. Looks like it. <laughs> and then Sheldon Cooper. Big Bang Theory. Bazinga. Bazinga. I also got a ooh, a very rare My Little Pony vinyl. She's technically not a My Little Pony yet, because she was a fan-based one. But I got a vinyl of her, and she is so dark. Beautiful. I love her coloring. You said she's a vampire? She looks like a vampire. Okay. She's got bats on her butt, too. <laughs> That's her uh, cutie mark. Cutie mark. So I'm not brony or whatever you call us. Neither am I, but I know some of the lingo. I got one big figure. What is that? I don't think I saw that yet. Yeah, that the is Mass Effect. Mass Effect, and it's Tally the Tally Zora. Tally Zora, and I really want to do this cosplay. She is one of my favorite people on there, other than Garrus. And it's a full-size, brand new figure. They wanted 80, and then it went down to 50, and then I got it for 20. So you really save a lot of money when you go to the garage sale because you can haggle. Exactly, yeah. Um, Plus, the longer the garage sale goes on, the more people might be willing to drop their prices because they don't want to lug all this stuff back. I also got, this is cute, a limited edition one-up badge of a Kung Fu Panda Deadpool. And I thought that would be nice to go on my kit bag. They make Deadpool variants of everything these I days. I saw cool. Deadpool the Duck in comic stores. I got a memo pad that was just random. It comes with different designs. I send notes to people. Got some deco tape. Because I use so much deco tape. I also got a Arda wig to work on your new Goku wig out of real hair. So I'm going to be Instead of the foam that I'm using. this up like Rakan's wig. Yeah. So you say Arda wigs are better quality? They or? are. They are very heat resistant and they stick better together when you use Mod Podge or heat, uh, glue guns. And yeah, I like them. They're I know very little about wigs. <laughs> I'm the wig expert. There we go. Got a wig. <gasps> I got so many bags. <laughs> I always feel bad when I don't spend a bunch and get like so many souvenirs. But at least we're showing off a lot of stuff here, even if I didn't buy it. Another Arda wig. It's a Bob wig. It has been used. The other one was not used. But I got that for $8, and they usually go for $60 online. So that's pretty good for a gently used wig. Then I got a little bunny for $4. She was so cute. It's from Amuse. This is the company that I sell my plushies online for. So they're very, very soft. Feel it. Just Look at her, feel her butt. So squishy. Then I got this cutie pie. Little Oshawa from the Pokemon Center. It's Chespin. Or Chespin. Sorry. Yeah. Chespin. Anyway, it is so freaking beanie. It's like, a bean bag? It's a beanie bag. I've never seen it is. a beanie bag Pokemon fleshy. Cool. And I believe that's it, other than a dress. But I'm not going to show that because. It's used. So. All right, so now I think it's time to clean some space and open up some Pokemon cards. Yay. So it's now time to open up some Pokemon card packs. But first of all, you want to show off a charm you also got as well, right? Yeah, I got this cute Mew charm. Um, you hold this this camera here. We'll get a nice yeah. close up of it. Which and I can it focus. flips colors to shiny Mew and regular Mew. That is cool. And the lady that made it, I forget her name, I think it's Jessica, and she's actually worked on creating Teen Titans on, I believe, it, what network is it on? Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network. She's worked for them, and she is an awesome artist. So these charms are from her, and I've gotten a bunch of art commissions from her in the other years, but this year she was not doing them, which is okay. It's up to her. But if you ever get a chance to get a commission done by her original artwork, get it it's awesome and that is the mew charm so let's see if the mew charm gives us some good luck as well before we open packs yes. there was something else that happened at the garage sale I gotta do the dingles on each pack so these are the cards that i picked up um they were all worth 100 and 
40 to 50 dollars and i got them down to 100 but i really need these mm -hmm. they're for my collection so i got this beautiful foil um the fighting energy fighting energy and it's very very pretty i got a thunderous full art i don't have this guys this is very strange. No, you do. And um, fighting. This is the lightning energy, and they are very hard to find. Shiny. I got my favorite. Meganium with evolutionary call ability. Yes, and it's very shiny. I got the fire type. Fire energy with a nice holographic foil. We got a bile plume. Very foily. This is different. I've never seen this card before. I took it out and I checked it if it was a fake, but obviously it's not, since I'm very good at finding fakes. But I did look it up before I bought it, and it is real. And it is a Vulpix, not the Alola form, of course. No, that's all we want. Mm -hmm. And here's an e-reader. It's in pretty poor condition. It's got some wrinkles, but it was only a dollar. And I was like, I don't have that one, and I love Arcane. And the burn up is pretty nice, but I'll probably never play it. But it's good for the collection though. Yeah. But here's something I definitely got a very expensive card. Mm -hmm. As beyond EX foil. So pretty. Back when the EXs had manageable HP mm. to fight against. <laughs> Basic. And now what I really collect, which is the old school fireworks. And if she moves it, you can see the fireworks just kind of yeah. shines. Oh, that so is pretty cool. These are what I collect. These are very expensive cards. There's a few that are cheap, but they didn't make a lot of them. So to see them in good condition, which most of them were, very rare. This makes up for being unable to record the fireworks on Canada yes. Day for 150th celebration, the 150th year. It. Look at all the fireworks. Because it was raining out. I thought, let's just stay inside. And you couldn't really see the fireworks through the glass that well. Yeah. You could, but the glare would have been bad for the camera. But we got fireworks now. We have lots of fireworks now. Now, are these all from base set? or? Um, They're from this set here. I forget what they're called, but it's one set in particular that they decide to do this. Right. I think this is the best foil. It's even better than the new EX foils to me. And it goes over top of the border, actually. It's a yeah, gray border instead. Yeah, it's a gray border instead, which makes it very pop. So here's one I definitely don't have, which is a gold duck. So <coughs> Pardon me. Here's a nice one from Delta Species. Mm hmm A Flareon. metal and fire type Flareon. Yeah. So they did have dual type cards back in the day, even before Steam Siege expansion. Hmm. Here's another Jolteon that I do not have. Very shiny. Here's a first edition base set Flareon. Oh, that's from the jungle set. Oh, jungle set, yes. sorry. First edition though, and oh my gosh, the rainbow in the back! <laughs> Look at that, it's so pretty. Nice card, it's damaged in the back, but it's still a Mewtwo. So. <coughs> I am dying this weekend if I didn't say so before. I'm feeling better though. Yeah. I'll try nice to keep card. away from you. Really nice condition, no wrinkles. Nothing at all. The sides are perfect to me. And you like the Evolutions, correct? I love Eevee, and Umbreon is one of my favorites. And this is the old school e-reader cards. And I think it's still in my e-reader. Uh, and there is a leaf one. And I thought that was just cute. Although I still, I think I have four or five of them, but mm -hmm. I needed all the Eevees. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a good loss to get for 100 bucks. And that was what you got from the garage sale for yeah. the cards. But Not think, a lot of cards at the garage sale. Yeah. No. Not a lot. But I think now it's time to bust into some more modern cards. What should we open first? That one. The Topu Coco? Yeah. Okay, grab that one and we'll see what's inside. You get three packs. You get also the Topu Coco pin and a Topu Coco card itself. Promo, I believe. Which can go in my promo binder. Yep, it's so a promo. So I'm not sure how much time we have on the recordings. I'm kind of running out of space. So we'll see if we can kind of maybe just speed to the rares or something like that. Like, yep. you want to see all the cards. They're not all Guardians Rising. There's a Steam Siege in there. <sighs> now I'm upset. <laughs> but you got the pin, though. Yeah, it's cute. And that top of Coco. I'm going to throw that because I hate Steam Siege. <laughs> but you can get dual types in there. And if you guys want, here you go. Here's code, the code for the Tapu Coco pin collection. You're welcome to it. First come, first serve. Yeah. So you do the same thing as I do. You say you don't like just to rip the packs open? No. 
I find they usually have a chance of not ripping properly. It just slows things down. And it also damages your corners. So just make sure you, you know, tap them and you diddle them for good luck. That's what we do at my card store. And you do as close as you can to the seam. And then, boom. Do you know the card trick for this set? Uh, I've tried it several times. I think it's three and three. Three from the back or from? Uh, the back. To the front. I think. So there's the uncommons here. Yeah. I've never thing. seen these before. So these are all new to you. Yeah. So the commons are now in here. Very dark. <coughs> I can't help it. <gasps> Yay! You got the Alolan Vulpix. I know. And I love that its first attack takes no energy to use. Oh, guys, look at that. It's so cute. It's adorable. Ooh. Foil Clefairy. Oh, I like the big part. That's yeah. Cool. And regular rare. Womp, womp, womp. You got a darkness energy. Yeah. Mm -mm. I don't have one of those either. So see if the second pack of Topo Coco gives you maybe the nine tails. Because you're looking for that too, right? I want nine tails and I want the full art of both of them. And apparently... They are EXs in this set. Well, GXs, yes. GXs. Same kind of idea, but a slight little bit of different rules to them. Yeah. So the uncommons. Oh, I see something. Ooh, we got Mallow, another Tentacruel. Mm -hmm. The Aether Paradise, whatever that was called. Delibird? Is that new? He's, he's from Gen 2, but he's in okay. this set. He's back again. Ooh. Bit of a foil beware. I've never seen that Pokemon. That's a before. good ability too. Yeah, 130. That's pretty good. Another regular rare. Oh. Wah, wah, wah. So that is. Well, we're still a seam siege, but you're not that interested in that. I guess. Are we gonna I will open? open it like normal because. All right. I find seam siege. You hardly get anything good from them. I think I, I bought an entire box, and I did it in. Like 20 minutes, and there was nothing good. Like, an entire I didn't even box? Get, yeah, like an entire, what is 35 packs in it? Uh, I think it's 36. 36 maybe. packs, anyway, it just did not. Okay, I like Halucha and Marie. But yeah. Yeah. Mm, Polyroar. Eh, he's okay. I gotta get a Chimchar and then a Foil Chimchar. <laughs> right behind each other too. I've had times like Garage. that. All over the place. It's caught on the core, that's okay. Gently to go, please. I will keep this. There's the promo, Coco. Flying flip and electro ball. But we have eight more packs to bust into in the Elite Trainer box. So it's now time to check out the Elite Trainer box and see what luck we have in this room. This is also my very first Elite Trainer box. I never usually get these. I usually just get a whole pack. Okay. Yeah. So you're getting all the uh, good stuff for competitive play yeah. with this here, too. Here's the box. Yeah. Ooh, a it shows you all the cards that are in this expansion, too, which is cool. And oh, if you open God. that up, you get some more art. I want this on my wall in my room. That or at the store. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. So cool. I like him. He's cool. The Lycan Rock. That's beautiful. That's so cool. I like, I like how they do that. It's not just, just cardboard waste anymore. You can actually make use of, well, that's cardboard waste, but you can make use of the box itself. So I get some more cardboard. Ooh, these are pretty. Deck sleeves or card sleeves for the deck. 65 you get in case five of them are active, you know. You also get yourself five, five cards of each energy type, including fairy type now in the sun and moon style. Those are the dividers you can put in the box to sort of sort your cards inside your collection box now. Okay, don't need that. There's a code card that gives you, I forget what, I think it gives you like a Topo Coco deck box and card sleeves online. And these are the acrylic poison and burn condition markers. And of course the GX counter as well, or GX the marker? I don't know what it's called. I rarely use GX attacks. I've never used a GX yet, so I'm kind of excited. They are interesting, I will say. You should watch some of my videos and see the crazy ideas that I come up with. And then some really fancy ones. So we got the, as they say, competition legal coin flip die, as well as six damage counters, or damage counter dice. But I think now we're getting to the meat of the box. 
We've got eight booster packs of Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. We got the Alolan Ninetales art. We got the Como OGX. We got Lycanroc GX, and we've got Coco GX. Which one do we open up first? The one that only has one. All right, Tapu Coco, oh. the Pokemon that is like the headline Pokemon of this entire expansion. Yeah. And I realize the good thing about what we're doing here, if the face cam camera decides to cut out on us unexpectedly. At least this is the nice big footage you're seeing of the cards being opened. Of course, I'm hoping that things work. Whoa! What the? So this should be Whoa. Whoa. more cards? Actually stuck to the scene uh -oh. a little bit. Oh, that's the cold card. Okay, so that... okay, we'll give this cold card. All right, that is a Sun and Moon Guardians Rising booster pack. Help yourself to that code, folks, and get yourself an online pack. So three from the back. Yeah, so it should be three, three. And we get our uncommons. Pseudo Widow. I love Field Blower. It gets rid of tools and stadiums. Aww. Cute Rock Rub. Cute Tail, though. Nose Pass, a Salandit, a new Pokemon. Murkrow, one of the most annoying Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Yep. Chandelier. The rare is Haunchcrow. And it looks like there was an extra common, maybe, or uncommon stuck behind. I don't know. Either way, that's pack number one. So, Top of Coco pack didn't give us too much to work with. And let's now yeah. see one of the Como OGXs. What do you think, folks? Leave some likes down below, leave some comments, do whatever you gotta do to give us some good luck. Give us a Lolan Ninetales GX. Christina's looking for it. You want her to find it. it. I need it. I spent so much money. Make it an Anna Maritime miracle. Yeah. Oh, folks, look at that. I see a bit of a shine in it's there. Bigger card. Mm hmm. That's the code mm -hmm. card. Since it's already phased up, grab that for yourselves. I keep unfocusing just one second. It's because the wind's right behind you. Possibly. One, two, three, front. All right, starting with the uncommon, we've got a Gly Score, Pokemo O, and the Altar of the Sun, as I like to pronounce it. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> Wimpod. Okay, another nose pass. We've got the wishy washy slow poke. The last common is a stuffle. The reverse foil is going to be a jangmo. Okay, we got a hakamo o, a jangmo o. What is the rare card going to be? Whoa. Turtonator GX. Okay, so kind of threw me for a loop. I was expecting Como o. But there's your first GX. Yeah. And a fighting energy. And it's very, very shiny. It is the Turtonator. So I'm going to put that right away in his sleeve, mm -hmm. like my mama taught me. I never do that. I really should. I just put them in the background and just be well, like, I'll sleeve them later. Since Pokemon came out, my mama's been very on my tail about keeping my cards at the best condition possible because they're worth money. Now, I do believe we might have run out of face cam, but if so, it's all right. You're seeing the cards, and that's the important thing right now. Okay. Let's do another one of those. They were really good. Yeah, got us some good luck with the Turtonator GX. That wasn't the nine tails, but let's see what happens. I want I want four of those Volpex as well. They're really, really pretty. Yeah. I love using them. Plus, they're just so good because no energy. You can get two Pokemon out of your deck. That is awesome stuff. They're good setup Pokemon. So another Sun and Moon Guardians Rising booster pack code card right there for you. It's focused fast this time. Excellent. You're getting so many goodies in this video, folks. All right, uncommon cards, leading off with a Machoke. We've got the Energy Lotto. A Lowland Geodude. We've got Barboge. There is a, another Rockruff. Clefairy. Oh, Vanillite. The one that looks like an ice cream cone. Yeah, and Ooh. Reverse Wall Rayquaza. That's pretty. Where is Wailord. Oh, I wanted Wailord so bad. Look at that. That's yeah. awesome. 200 HP. Of course, the Whale Lord EX has 250, but that's... Pokemon, but, uh, that's still good. We have a Fairy Energy and a Glalie. Shiny. So that is, what, pack three, I believe? Yep. That's leaving us with five more packs to go. I'm saving these ones for last. So okay. Do the, this thing. Lycanroc. He looks very evil. Did you know there are two different Lycanroc forms? There. Yeah, this is the midnight form. There, there's a midday form as well, which looks more, more less scary. Yeah, 
More puppy dog legs, pretty similar to Rock Ruff. So code number four right there, Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. It is focused nicely. Grab that code. First come, first serve. I wonder if anyone's gonna get all these codes that fast. <laughs> I don't know. I got some from Unlisted Leaf. Okay. So, and there was lots of people that watched it before me. We got Weeping Bell. Got a Watch Hog. Glalie again. Yeah. Vanillaite. <laughs> a Cast Form. Snow Runt. Pancham. A Litwick. This looks dark to me. Reverse Foil, okay. Tentacruel, and rare is Gothitelle. Gothitelle. With a Psychic Energy to go with it. Mm -hmm. Enough psychic, I should, so let's go back to you. All right, Como O G X again. I say G X even though it's not technically. It's just the Pokemon, but the card is the G X. The card is where the power comes from. Ooh, I see another common that I want. And I believe we just recently, depending on when this video goes up, we just recently saw Como O G X in action on the channel. That is code number five for you folks out there from Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. So what luck? is in store for us with this pack number five. I like to do this, but I don't know. Just take a little peek. Mm. So Alamomola, a beware with that nice ability. We have a Sligu, Whalmer. Whalmer. I can evolve into Whalord. I know. I can't really do the voice that well I'm sick, but Wimpod is next. We have Nosepass, Wishy Washy, Verse Foil Machamp, and a Sharpedo Aww, for the rare. Not even a foil no. yet. No. That's Yeah, but there's still three packs left for good luck to pull through. We only got one common full picks. I can't believe that. We need four total for a whole deck. But what if you get a foil Alolan full picks? That'd be nice. That would be like awesome. That's probably what they're holding out for. They're holding out the best cards in the Alolan Ninetales pack. You just know it. You know what? If I don't pull it, I'm going to end up buying it at the store when I get home, too. Probably. Buying singles is always a good thing to do as well when you need them. That is code six for you folks out there to take into Pokemon TCG Online. Get yourself a full, nice <laughs> full 11 card booster pack. You are very nice. I know. And I play it online. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and a Flitchinder. Uncommon is a Weeping Bell. Next uncommon, Aqua Patch. People love that's that one. Yes, I heard that card was good. So, Gligar, we got a common Bell Sprout. Cottony. She's also sad looking. <laughs> Alolan Sancher. I love it. So cute. It's so cute. I'm keeping it. Goes with the Alolan Vulpix. What? We have a Stuffle and a reverse. One. Reverse Foil Stuffle. Ooh. Rare Pangoro. It's Pandora, everybody, from the playthrough. Oh, yeah, but still. Yeah. That's a card I will play with. So this is it. The luck is coming down to this. Last two. Come on. One please. of them has to have the GX Alolan Ninetales in there. Please, 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 please. If you people haven't hit the like button yet, do it now. We need yes. it. This is the last moment. So pack number seven's code right there for you folks to snag. And you're good to go. Toss that in a Pokemon TCG online. Make sure I am focused once again here. Yep, we are good. I don't think so. Oh no, Machoke, we got a Lampant, a Clefable, Snorunt, Chansey, Machop, Alolan and Sandshrew Alolan. again, Yay. Murkrow, Reverse Foil, Marini. It's a new one. Oh. Solgaleo is the rare. Nice, I wanted that guy. And a Metal Energy to go with <laughs> that Solgaleo. All right, so we're down to pack number eight. Happen. We're gonna have to go back to Walmart and buy more packs. It might have to happen, but they're closed. Are they? Probably. I don't know. But let's see. This could be the pack we've been waiting for all our lives, or at least since you bought them. I don't know. Final code card. Right there for you folks. I wonder if anyone's able to ever maybe show these videos to their webcam and just uh, scan the QR code. I don't know, could be a way to do it. So the final pack begins. We have a uncommon Gliscor, Hakamo O, Altar of the Sun once again. Salandit, there is a Murkrow, Snow Runt, we got Patrax. Gligar, Reverse Foil is a Comfe. I wanted one of those. Rare is Talonflame. We didn't get any of the Nine Tails. And a Darkness Energy. Aw, but that's okay. We at least got. 
a couple of Alolan Sands true. It's Igaloo, everybody! She is here! And the best card out of the collection that you got is the Turtonator GX. Very cool stuff. And that is going to be our loot slash pack opening recap of our collection from Anna Maritime 2017. So Chas has never tried my favorite type of chocolate before, Ferrero Rocher. So I bought some for him to try, and I'm gonna nibble on one too. But we're gonna see how it works out and if he likes it. I probably will, cause it's chocolate, right? And I like chocolate yeah, stuff. Yeah, he's got a hazelnut in the middle. Do you like nuts? They're okay. Okay. Anyway. I like peanut butter cups, and that's pretty much exactly the same thing. Each one is 230 calories. Can you deal with that? <laughs> I play Pokemon Go. I think I'll be okay. I eat like these every Christmas, and I get a huge box. One for you, two for me. Two. I guess that since you bought them, okay. So, I can't get it open. Cut. It looks like. Looks like a durian from Super Mario Sunshine, or just durian the uh, fruit itself anyway. Or deer poop, or something. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's inside of it is a crispy kind of cracker outline under this, chocolate and hazelnut, and then it's basically Nutella with a full hazelnut inside. Let's try So let's go for it. Yeah. And he just eats the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I like to eat the outside first, then the inside. I found the hazelnut. <laughs> Professor Chaz gives it a thumbs up. There, now you know my favorite candy. <laughs> very, very tasty stuff. I don't want to talk with my mouth full, but this was a good animator times. Mm -hmm.